technological humans versus wild nature? No, I think not. There is a moment in this film where this opposition, this duality is set up, human versus nature, technology versus nature. But this film offers us more complexity and ecology certainly demands more complexity. Duplexes or dualities are patterns of thinking, mostly from our culture, but often cultural patterns of thinking that reflect observations of nature. So they're not, they're not complete fictions. Things like human versus nature, culture versus nature, technology versus nature, evil technology versus good nature, civilized culture versus wild nature. So all of these dualities are called to mind in the combat between Moro and Eboshi. But we need to think more complexly. Like the forest god, the deer god shows us, life and death with each step, life becoming death, death becoming life. Duplexes or dualities like nature, culture, good, evil, human, animal, life, death. These are provisional thinking patterns that are no longer useful as we think the ecological thought. The ecological thought disrupts these because it's a system of relations, not just one relation. For example, when you die, you don't completely die. Your body can become soil for other things to grow, and the love that your friends and family and even pets have for you is also keeping you alive. So this idea that it's more complicated than nature human we find in Irontown, in Eboshi's inner sanctuary, there's a garden. So there's, the, there's a little forest in the heart of Irontown. Similarly, we have the super charming character who's lovely and lovable, but in fact is the one carrying out the evil mission to decapitate and murder the deer god. Wolves in the film are another example that's beyond the duality. The duality of humans' nature doesn't work here because we have wolves who include a human wolf. Sen is both a wolf and human. And she's not just a wolf to her wolf family. Here we find she is recognized by the boars as being a wolf. She's recognized as Moro's daughter. Speaking of misrecognition, we have these bear men and pig men who are disrupting the duality of human nature. Humans can become animals and be recognized as animals by animals. This is more ecological. Finally, the film doesn't end with an apocalypse destroying the world. It doesn't end with everything laid waste and we're done. It ends with life sprouting again out of the destruction, and already a complex ecology. Take a look at it. You can see trees and grass and the remnants of artifacts of war and stones. It's not, it's not just one thing. It's a complex mesh of relations. So dualities don't get us very far. In the next talk, we're going to talk about the relation. And the relation is the basic unit of analysis in ecology. It's the relation that is the connection in the mesh.